Do you want to learn some great new words to express how you're feeling in English? Let's go. Ellie. There may be more than one way to interpret the emotions you see in these images. So take your best guess for each one. Take a look at this image. What is this emotion? Annoyed. That's right. The shorter person definitely looks annoyed in this image. Do you know which feeling this image could represent? Bored. Yep, yeah, she looks pretty bored. How about this one? Comfortable. That's right. He looks really comfortable. Here's another one. Confused. Did you know that one? What's the strongest emotion you can name for this image? Devastated. That's a really intense word for sad. And what about this one? How do you think this person is feeling? Disappointed. You got it. Okay, next. Which adjective describes this feeling? Frustrated. You got it. How do you think the person who didn't win is feeling? Jealous. That's right. Great job. Let's try this one. Nervous. This person sure looks nervous. How do you think these parents are feeling about their daughter? Proud. Yeah, that's exactly it. What adjective would you use to describe this emotion? Shocked. Hmm, I wonder what shocked him. And last one. What feeling is this? Surprised. Great job. Do you know the difference between shocked and surprised? They're similar emotions, but we usually use shocked for a negative situation and surprised for a positive one. You just learn adjectives that describe 12 complex feelings in English. Now it's time to practice and see what you've learned. Do you think you can remember the spelling of those adjectives? Let's find out. Do you remember how to spell this? Write it down on a piece of paper or say the letters out loud. Disappointed. Did you remember that there are two P's? Great job. How about this one? Jealous. Nice. There are so many vowels in that word, aren't there? Okay, last one. What's the name of this feeling? Annoyed. Great work. All right, let's make this a little more challenging. Which image represents surprised? Correct, it's surprised because she looks happy. Let's try another word. Which one represents confused? Yes, you got it. All right, here's the last one. Which card represents nervous? Do you know the answer? Excellent. Great job. Now you have a lot more vocabulary to help you express how you're feeling. If you want more practice, you can always play this video again. Happy studying. Ellie.